That's definitely a curious thing. I'll have to look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the hand warmers going. I asked Connor today if he was trying to spread the good word of Rastafarianism. And he looked at me confused. And I asked him if he believed in the king of Ethiopia. What was that? I don't know. What was that like? Phantom Rest? Could have been. I don't know, though. Because there was the knockback from the fair, but not from the rest, and the rest... I don't know. What is life? It's a mystery. <clears throat> Alright. Do you have little glasses? Alright. Fucking Joe, we're gonna get into it. With blue nanos. Mm-hmm. Puff Ice Climbers, Sheik Peach, A Battle of the Ages on Dreamland. This is where they started last time. Yeah. We'll see if they're able to hold that center wall. They're just... Yeah, they already split off. They already split off, so... Yeah, but they... No. Okay, they have, they're just walling into Peach at this point. Yeah, no, Hamlin's, Hamlin's protecting the space at center, letting Mouth get back in. Yeah. God, you have to really eke your way back against, like, Puff. Yeah. I, and when with I was, Ice Climber supporting, it's much oh, more yeah. difficult. When I when I was playing uh, the month of Adapter and having to, like, watch him get wobbled as there was a Puff in between me and that, I was like, mm -hmm. this, is, this does not bode well. <laughs> okay. okay. Yep, forward throw. The angle out is not going to be enough, though, to actually, like, interact with Puff. That's unfortunate. Here's him away. Oh. No triple kill. <laughs> Almost, though. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, and Mouth just claiming oh. that top platform as the down smash zone. Alright. Yeah, he's not going to be able to Good wave right. dash. Mouth floats back. Shouldn't have committed to the fair right there, but he uh, was in a scary situation, so it's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, I could see the game plan, and he just went on to, like, get back and get mm -hmm. off of him, but at the same time, it is risky. I'm going to try and get rid of Nana. Good down air, just coming in. Nice and hard. Yeah, I think uh, one of the big things um, with Hamlin and, and doubles against Ice Climbers is oh. his confidence against Ice Climbers. Um, he seems much more willing to f to fight them head on than yeah, in singles. Yeah, like Mouse Punk's got his back. He's got the he's got the support. Yeah, yeah good patience there on platform. Doesn't oh, really that. good snipe from Hamlin getting that fair. Oh, are we gonna get some Bunk and Joe combos? We could some uh, discount UGS. Uh, I believe you mean Bunk and Joe combos. Oh, this, I, this here is Bunk and Joe I meant uh, premium UGS combos. Thank you. Thank you for the proper nomenclature. Oh, yes. God. This is looking uh, pretty rough. Yeah, they are doing quite well right They're now. They're putting in work right now. I think the big thing is, like, Hamlin's spacing has been really good. And, like, they both switch off of, like, who, who needs to be doing what. Like, do you need to be holding in for neutral? Do I need to wait for you? Like, they're actually, like, playing the actual part of doubles where the macro... Ooh, ooh Jab but gets a, a late turnaround and misses the grab. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got an edge guard going. Trying to get the 2v1 on Sheik. But Blizzard just puts him away. Hamlet's shield drops are so good. They are quite crispy. Shout out to Yoshi. Yeah. Well, it's because he uh, he does it straight down. Mm -hmm. Like, he just does the little tap down that you can yep. do. Because it does drop you into the dead zone. Yeah, he learned uh, he learned that way first. And uh, now he's very fast. Oh, he tried. But he's actually going to cost him both stocks. Uh... Like, stock counts for even, but it's not even at all. No, it is not even at all. Yeah. It's like, even if they get a rest, the rest is, like, super dangerous because Puff will just die. Yeah. Puff is going to explode from just the slightest touch here. Sheik does have, like, a little bit of a difficult time. Like, oh, that's going to be a, a missed Waveland, I guess? It looks like it. Yeah, I mean, Puff Waveland is... A th it's there. I mean, you can do it, but it's not the greatest. All right. Ooh, good back here to call it out. No, 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 no. Gets the drift. Ooh. That's a little opposite check there. Yeah, to just, the money, but. I like the jump over back air just to put Nana back into mouth and then have a 1v1 against Sopo. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Hamlin's just kind of taking his time. This is a this is a good doubles match. Yeah, this is at the point where like it doesn't matter for them. They're like, we can just kill. Nana Popo versus Bunk and Joe. When oh lovers collide. Oh, oh, great jab snap. from Nana. Nana is just popping off right now. She wants to survive. Oh, I thought 
Okay. Oh no. That was a, definitely like a I'm just gonna kill myself. Get him bait. bananas. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's just running across the stage <laughs> inside being back on. Oh my god. So last time they went stadium first. Um I don't know what they think is better between FD and Stadium, because I think FD like obviously it simplifies the game plan and Puff controls the air where well Ice Climbers control the ground. But yeah. I think one thing Bananas does really well is stay under platforms. Um, so just giving, getting rid of the top platform, but keeping the platform to stay under so that they have to approach at odd angles. Um, oh my god. It's smart. And this is what happened last time. There were lots of rests. Yeah, but he actually made it back. Like, great DI from him, Yojo. Mm -hmm. A little, uh, little left of center there to actually make it a little more survivable for you. Tried to target switch onto Mouth, and Mouth was like, uh-uh, get back in the corner, you stupid ball. Dude, Puff is just a really angry volleyball, like I swear. She's very, very angry. Yeah, Nana, Nana will be able to make that back, I believe. Or, no, he'll just, he'll Ooh, just yep. use her. Just use her solely for her ethereal body. Caught by the belay. Yeah, Puff go down. One thing I like seeing from uh, Bananas is like he will try to use grab armor as a mm -hmm. means to like stuff out people trying to get at him. Yeah, it's uh, not you know? an often technique you see used to great effect, but it is a good one, and and I was taking pretty good pretty good advantage of it. Yeah. Right, Blue Zatch holding the corner down. Okay. Very back into the corner, yeah. It's just all about the positioning right now for uh, for Bunk and Joe. Yeah, Blue Nanas are trying to put up, like, anything at this point. Like, they've been able to get some of these rests, but even, like, with Hamiodra living them and not being able to get one off on uh, Alf yet, like, having Peach as a stock tank and still having Sheik with three stocks is terrifying. Uh, yeah, it gets caught by that down smash. Blue Zatch is actually getting cornered right now, which is, uh... Unfortunately, I feel like he should just try to full hop and like jump around instead of just fighting his way out. Yeah, but Blue Zaft, Blue Zaft's a scrapper, honestly. Like, he is a scrapper, but sometimes you can't scrap. Yeah, that SCI up from him you just saved him from a jab reset into smash attack. Really smart stuff. Man, back in back in like 2015 when jab resets were just before people knew before how to SDI. Knew. And yeah, before people knew. But it now we have a, a, a great way of dealing what? with that okay. when well, tech chasing, and it. it's called uh, crouch and dash out of crouch. Dude, Hamlet's DI on these rests has been A+. Plus. Good stuff, bud. <laughs> Not this time, though. All right. Even if he's out a little bit, but we'll still see. He's fishing for grab here, and they've got center stage. That's what we see each time. Oh, yeah. Getting caught between down smashes, Blue Zaft having to just reset. Sneaks between. Yeah, all right. Bananas goes down. This is uh, a rough one. Yeah, right now the game plan just seems to be like fish for grab and rest, but with both of them such. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. That was odd. Yeah, Needles resetting knockback and not really doing anything about it. I need to get me one of those Summer Smash shirts. They look great. I just need to buy clothing. Yes. I. All my clothes are for a fat man. I don't actually need to buy clothing, but I can pretend. Oh, we're getting the Bananas Fox. All right, Bunk and Joe. It's going to be possible 3-0 for them if they manage to take very it. Very possible. I think, obviously, Fox Puff, a very, very strong team. S stronger than Ice Climbers Puff. Yes. Although... Bananas Ice Climber is much stronger than his Fox, so we'll make, see what happens. Yeah, we'll He's see made the Fox work in doubles before. Yeah, um, I, I do, like, I know Nanners is, uh, I talked to Burr, so this is my, my second hand, like, they took it out of the horse's mouth and then, like, relayed it over to me. Mm -hmm. um, he might start using his Fox more and more, and, like, might might use it for super matchups or might switch up Ices. Like, okay. bring, bring it out for stuff where it's like, I need this, I need to win this. That's interesting to me. Um, but... Like because said, realistically, he's got a good hold on the Peach matchup, and yeah. the only matchup he would he really struggles at all with right now Fox. is Fox, which is weird because I feel like at the end of the day, um, like Fox is such an important part of melee that if you're using a character for Fox, that's that's not a good sign for your main yeah. or your uh, your belief in that main. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. 
Monday Night Mail is a wild ride. It really is. And no one else, no one knows what's going to come. Our, our storyline has gotten impressive over the, the last year or so. I'd say. Mm -hmm. Blue's Zaps ricocheting off the tree. All right. We'll be able to even out the stocks here. Yeah. Oh. Of course, I'm still waiting for the return of Dizzy storyline. Yo, I'm so ready for that, that story arc, honestly. Because everyone's going to be like, dude, he hasn't played in a while. You remember what happened last time he didn't play in a while? He came to the tournament and he beat everyone. Yep. Dizzy's... I don't understand that boy. He's a very, very wild man. But right now, we got... We got camping. Yeah, we are just we waiting. a tree. Oops. Oh, <laughs> okay. Blue Zap just holding ledge. Yeah, I think uh, I was talking about this earlier. I think in this exact same set, but in winners finals, juggles um, with Fox on cheek are still pretty potent. They're not nearly as bad. So stages <gasps> like FD and Stadium, no. um, sorry, sorry, still work. Yeah, I think it's I think it's interesting. Like you don't have that top platform to keep the keep the ball rolling, so to speak. Haha. <laughs> but puffs uh, a ball. That she is. Uh, but. It's just like it's so difficult. Also, that that needle out of rest was glorious. I had a good time. I think everyone was good. Did we just shot up smash? Yeah, he was just looking there, to see if he would tech away. Like when you see a puff like aerial drifting down, it's, it's so scary because like your tech can just mean life or death if she's able to read that in the doubles. Living. Wow. Ooh, good DI. Yeah, they've been doing really well at like not getting beat out by these low percent. Rest. Like they will. It, it takes them like to be at 30 or more if they're gonna die from rest. Blue Zap's still living. I feel like they should just go for the team combo on uh, Fox right there, just because the Puff is gonna die from any more, one more stray hit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Trey Fondren with the mix-ups. That was. I was not ready. Classic. All right, yep. Just gonna wait. Oh, just fishing out under, and this is actually swinging back towards the winners. <laughs> yeah, they're making it work pretty well. And for the first time, it seems like they actually have some like measure. Oh, close, but no cigar. Sixty percent where that's worked. Good reset there with down air. Accidentally grabs buff though again. It's an interruption. Oh. Ooh, yeah, he waited for the angle, but not long enough. All right. Yep, okay. With a Puffet 97 versus two two characters that can live fairly long. Oh. No. Okay, good DI. Yeah, Mouth is not looking to just get beat out of this. Okay. This is this is where it decides, this ledge situation right and now. Hamlin sneaks underneath. Oh, man, he actually went for the ledge call. Ooh, that back air. Back throw. Yeah. Words yeah, are living, hard. He's living. He's living. All right. Oh, my God. No, he wasn't able to make it. But, okay, this is an opportunity. Great tech. He okay. He's able to take him down, but this is the... Oh, 1v1. Man. All right. This is this is where it becomes hard. Because um, oh getting that kill opening... It's all up to mouth. Pretty difficult with Peach and Puff. And one backer could just, like, Whip completely her off, yeah. kill her. It's all about knowing when to get turnips. Yeah. He's doing a really good job of dealing with the zoning and yeah. understanding like when he can actually get it. Yeah, if you can get one turnip in an air, that'll that'll seal it most likely. Right. Ooh, yeah, I wanted him to, to roll in, covers it with a back air. Yeah, Blue Zap is doing a really good job of just like oh, he's actually seeding the space now. He's trying to bait Mouth in for these. Yeah, Mouth's not falling for it. No, Mouth he's does. Not with I've it. I've dealt with this too many times. An air. All right, resetting on a platform. Oh, he Ooh, a great SCI. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, back throw. This is the back throw. Oh, and the up air. Oh, <laughs> Nanners with the solid. Spam the T-Lock solid in the chat. Throw it out. Waited for it. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that last swing actually bringing things all the way back for them. And we'll see if they're able to continue the momentum and keep moving in grand finals. Oh, Acer's here. What up, man? He is. This is his uh, last week here. Oh, is it? Before he goes back to New York. Oh, man. All right, these big drills from Manners is actually working out pretty well. Good follow up on the tech chase situation. Cam Yudge is actually just, oh my goodness. Yeah, this uh, this battlefield counterpick in winners worked really, really well for them. Yeah. Uh, Tri-platform stages, 
especially Battlefield, are just so good for for Hamlin to move around on. Yeah. I think that like most cheeks practice here probably. Yes. And they're like we enjoy it's fun. Platforms. It's fun to just shield drop all over the place and wave land. Yeah. But uh, the fox is definitely put in work right now. Yeah, like there were, there was a point where you could kind of sleep on Inner's fox, but like he he's not a person where it's like oh he plays ice climbers or like oh he plays puff he's not gonna have good secondaries like Nanners has got good secondaries he's just good yeah he's just got a good the, the way he got good at ice climbers is not necessarily like he didn't ice climbers at people obviously like he'll wobble people which yeah. is whatever but the way he gets his neutral opening is just like being patient which is just a skill that is good with every character yeah. good with every character and then he's also just got like an impressive yep that'll take it like an impressive level of like technical understanding of the game mm -hmm. like, and blue team has a Decent lead right now. Yeah, it's pretty hefty. Like, surprising that uh, Puff would live this long. These full hop dares, like, from Nanners are just stuffing out any movement on platform. And for some reason, what? That was an attempt at, like, the most mangle of mangles with nothing That there. was an attempt at a hax money, like, yeah. 20xx angle. An Ardwangle. That was definitely I think an Ardwangle. kids are calling it now. Another one? Now we're good. Shoutouts to, to the memory card mod. Yo, yeah, they finally they finally made one uh, in full for the memory card. I know that Hacks just dropped his. That's really fun to play on if you haven't touched mm -hmm. it. Legalize it. I yeah, I'm I'm hoping. Hoping. I'll uh, I'll get into my my view on that after this exciting set. Ooh, that was a nice oh, up smash. Oh man, and taunts coming out. That was he wanted to cover that roll so badly. He wanted to see if he could spook Hamlet out. I love that back air going, oh. going deep. Oh, and he saves Bana not Bananas, Hamlin, Yojo. No, Yojo's going to die anyway. Hamlin, Yojo. And that is going to be mouth stock as well at 9%. All right, Hamlin, get him. Oh, okay, so. The, the, oh. Oh. No, okay. Okay, they so Blaze after Nanners are up uh, two games now, so it's game five of set one, grand finals. Wow. So, I think they might go Yoshi's. Uh, we could see it, honestly. Like it's it's a feasible counter pick with Fox now. I think Fox Peach is a uh, pretty good on that stage. I also think that Puff's ability to just come out of nowhere and just explode and rest on you is uh also very dangerous. Eminem is, does pretty well on Yoshi's with Fox usually. But we will see what happens. Ready, Back to battlefield though, I guess they think they can still do it. Yeah, we'll see if they can hack it. Oh man, Mouth is relentlessly hunting down Nanners. But he's getting all these back airs just trying to come in on him. Honestly, uh, sometimes your like, want to hit something can override common sense. I do it a lot. I just drift in on people. And I think that was a little lot of Mouth was eating for with back airs. Immediate jab up smash after the immediate up there up air. Yeah, this Fox pick is actually like, working Doing super work. well, man. Did not expect it. Oh. Oh, okay, nothing too bad there. We'll get back on stage. All right. Bunk and Joe holding their own, though. But we'll have to get rid of Puff somehow. And like, There's no like clear setups in this matchup, I feel like, for either Sheik or Peach in terms of like how you can actually kill Puff. Mm -hmm. like, you have to get that, that nasty stray hit. Like that. A nice little that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, if you've got a separation where Peach has like Fox cornered, you can do down throw up air with Sheik. Yeah. Um, but it's like, just difficult to get that though. Yeah, it's it's especially difficult when the other their partner isn't like cornered yeah. or being walled out. It's definitely one of those ones that you have to like force in the two v one. I Puff's forward throw is just like a little ball of red hate. Like it just comes out at all directions, and I think it's the most hilarious hitbox in the game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good empty land to forward tilt, but. Banana was, was ready with that sick up smash. Oh, yeah. She has to commit so much in neutral, like, because she doesn't have that dash dance, which she has to deal with just kind of getting getting hecked on sometimes when she just throws out a move and commits. It's kind of like Marth. You know, Marth will throw out something in the air and have to deal with it there. Like, you really see it with Sheik, especially in the Fox matchup. Good up air there from Zaf. Yep. Ooh, okay. All right, Buck and Joe now back in the lead. Back in the saddle. Yeah. They're doing a really good job here of just maintaining their corner, not wanting to deal with too much. Throwing projectiles out, taking their time, making their space. 
Now they've got the, the 2v1 set up on Fox. Yeah, but they aren't able to complete it in full. Oh, that down air to save him out of the up air was, that was super nice. Pristine. A right. Quality down air. Yeah. And again. Ooh, and he does the he backs up into the back air. Dude, make sure. Yeah, Mouth is a king right now, dude. Mouth is a uh, the MVP right now. All right, him is just still holding onto the stock. Yeah, this is this is where Sheik Peach becomes so dangerous. If you've got people in the corner, you can just send Peach to attack them. And she is so good at supporting yeah. you know, with like needles um, and a pretty fast just like dash attack or boost grab or just run and down smash. Yeah, I think the big change that like they were able to do in this game, oh, good stage spike from Buzap, um, was that they started determining the pace. Mm -hmm. they, they stopped like doing... They're not playing blue team's yeah, game anymore. They're like, okay, well, if you guys want to be like that, we're going to go sit in our corner, we're going to charge needles, and we're going to pull turnips. Because they've got like... Blue team is like playing this obstacle course type game where they're like staying in a certain position, and you're trying to move around bananas, and then Blue Zap comes in and like gets the rest. Yeah. Um, but if Blue's if Red team's just waiting at like center, it's much much more difficult. That's what they're doing, and it's working. Or they're just pushing them to the edge after they have the center. Yeah. Taking advantage. <laughs> all right, and in game five of set one, Bunk and Joe are gonna go all the way through the bracket and take. They did it. They did it. It's real they solid stuff. Especially, like, I feel like they cleaned that last game up rather good. Storming really through well. the competition. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Real mm -hmm. nice. So, uh, what do we got next? Do you have, uh, do you have a match yet? I don't know if I have a match yet. I'm going uh, to check on if, if those dudes You have a match them, yet. Do I? I I'm going to see if you have a match. You might have to I'm play. I'm like round three losers. You have to play WT Blake now. Do I? Yeah. It is time, my guy. He is going to camp you. I'll be fine with that. Have fun. I'll just... Hit him a lot, I guess. Okay. And then if I win that, I play loser of 82, which 82 is going to be SDJ Miho. Let's go. Yeah, it'll be Miho. We'll see. I'm not going to. If he goes Fox, we might see something, but, you know, it's still we like might. SDJ's really I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t I'm going to say, I'm going to predict strongly SDJ. I, and this is not me not wanting Miho to win. Miho is my boy. Miho's my boy. But... SJ will be the strong favorite in that. Yeah, Puff Beach, rough life. I'm gonna hop off and go play. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna just do nothing ever again. We should probably fill time while we wait for him to get back. That's no, honestly, true. That is the more optimal. That's the more. That's the right situation. thing to do. Yeah. So Soto beat I'm Dirty Dan. Did he? Yeah, mm -hmm. I I figured. Soto's good. Yeah, I'm not super surprised by that. I don't, because. Well, sort of. I'm sort of surprised because I think Dirty Dan's, uh, based on results, is uh, like a little above Soto. But I'm also not surprised because I don't know what Dirty Dan's been doing. Yeah. Also, like Soto, I feel like is still like in that proving grounds area as a player, mm -hmm. where like he entered into the scene, started doing really well, and people were like, "Willikers, what's going on with you?" And so now he's just like kind of making the rounds and seeing who he can slap out. Yep, yep, yep. So far, Pitt's been consistent over him, though. So he's yet to surmount Pitt. Pit's a hard one. Pit is like definite like most Monday Night Melee is like a top four. He's yet to uh, Soto's yet to beat like a top top player yet. Yeah. Um, he he, he's like hitting all the ones like right on the cusp. Yeah, of he's being... beating the the gatekeepers. Yeah. But he's he's yet to get like his mouth, his uh, his Hamlin. Yeah. But we'll see what he can do. He's got to he's got to hit the proving grounds. Mm -hmm. That's where he is. And he's going to winners round four then against who? Ham Yojo. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Hey, M. Okay, good. Are we getting Lunchman? Sick. Oh, Zach is commentating. He's going to talk about Super Smash Brothers. Okay, well, I can't speak English, so... Everything I've said until now is just me guessing. I really hope this is English. Joe... On that, uh, on that thought train of technically everything you've been guessing now is English. There are a bunch of, like, there's a bunch of points in my life where I think, you know, I have absolutely no idea how to do this thing or properly uh, apply it. However, theoretically, there is a universe where I could mash enough buttons or technically make the correct muscle inputs in my body to accomplish anything. I could literally... I, like, I think about it and, like, if I don't...